I'm really happy with all the work I've done on films, but I would say uh, the black hole from the film Interstellar uh, holds a special place in my heart because um, we got to work with this amazing world-class theoretical physicist, Kip Thorne, and he gave us the physics behind Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, and that's how we made the black hole. It sounds crazy, but we used real physics to actually make an effect in a big Hollywood blockbuster. So that, that's a little bit special, that. Both uh, Inception and Interstellar, we had several scenes that featured zero gravity, people floating around either in the dream world or in a spaceship. And uh, we actually went about doing it pretty much what you might consider to be a traditional way. We used wires, stunt harnesses. We had all special sort of, uh, almost like a seesaw that you'd clamp an actor into and you could move them around, which Chris, our director, Chris Nolan, loved because he could literally puppeteer his actors around the set, which is quite funny to see. But what we were able to do is to turbocharge that with modern digital technology and use the computers to be able to paint out all of the rigs and to be able to create the seamless sense of illusion. But the important thing is that we were able to put real actors into real sets, whether it was the spacecraft or the hotel in Inception, and uh, create a real uh, sense of illusion for the actors themselves as well as for the audience. What does the end of Inception mean? What is really happening? It's a question I get asked all the time. And yes, I did discuss it uh, several times with Chris whilst we were making the film. And we talked about all sorts of different things and all sorts of different meanings. Other films that have maybe uh, uh, asked the same question, perhaps, about what is the nature of reality. Chris never definitively told any of us what his take on it is. I think his feeling is that you can bring your own interpretation to it. So my own personal interpretation is that at the end of the film, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Dom Cobb, has managed to escape from the dream world and has actually uh, managed to get back to his family. Because that's what I wanted to do. I'd spent a year away from home making the film in Los Angeles and I was very keen to get back to London where my own family is. So it had a very personal message to me. So that's my own take on it. Fans also point to the fact that the two children in the end sequence are actually two different actors from the ones we see in the earlier portion of the film. Is that correct? Is that is that's a piece of trivia that people often quote? They are different actors, but crucially, they are the older brother and sister of the actors that play the children in the dreams. So they are older versions of the same characters. So they're very definitely meant to be the same children. It's just that uh, you know they've grown up a little bit whilst uh, whilst Leonardo has been lost in his uh, dream world.